I'm not going to bedazzle when I'm making it. Pages inside and everything. Stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make them. So you need scissors, cardboard, and what you're going to do with the cardboard is you're just going to cut it. You're going to cut a rectangle. This rectangle, what you're going to do, hold on, sorry, is you're going to cut it in half. Sorry, um, I was trying to do that, sorry. Okay, so after you have your piece, what you're going to do is at the top, you're going to cut, you're going to cut the little things at the top to make like a little booklet. Sorry. Okay, so after you cut it, you're, oh, well, sorry, I'm still cutting it. So... Sorry, I totally messed up that angle right there. So, what you're going to do is you're just going to cut, and I kind of poked myself, sorry. You're going to cut it all the way down until the last little piece. You don't cut that. If you cut that, then it'll ruin it, it'll ruin it and you'll have to start all over again. So, you're just going to leave a little part so it looks, so it keeps it together. So, there's going to be these little tiny things inside, and they're really easy to come off. You just peel them off, and it comes right off. Okay, so after you are done with that piece, you make sure it's all good and inside it's clean. So now you're just going to get a book, like a composition notebook. This this is just an example. I'm not going to use this one. But you get like tape, sort of. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. What you're going to do is you're just going to get a normal book. And you are going to get the tape and just try to cut it off. Mine didn't work. Mine wasn't working that well. So you're just going to try to peel it off as quickly as you can. Well, as neat as you can. Hold on one second. So after you get your piece, you're gonna have a little bit extra off. It's okay. So you look, you look at your book, and you see the back, the back of the book, like the binder. So you're just gonna put it around, and you're just gonna put it like a tape. After you do that, you're just going to neaten it out and you're just gonna cut off any excess. Sorry, I totally messed this up. Okay, so now that you have done that, so there's going to be like any rough edges, you just have to cut those off. Okay, so after you have your desired piece, you are going 
to get Elmer's glue or like hot glue or whatever kind of glue you have and you're just going to put it on the, t the side that you're going to put the Ugh, I can't talk the side that you're going to put it on the book okay so then you place it on the book Make sure it's nice and tight. <laughs> and if it's not right, if it's not correct, and you don't like it the way it is, you can just rearrange it and stuff. Okay, so. It's supposed to look like this. When you're doing that, you are. See, now it's, it looks like an actual book now. What am I doing? I was just right sorry, now. I recorded this like three days ago. Oh, sorry, this is my little brother who's being weird. So, this is the book. And you see, you're just going to put it to the side for now. So now you're going to grab acrylic paint or nail polish. I'm going to be using nail polish. If you want to put diamonds on it, or like any bedazzles, you are going to get clear nail polish or glue and some diamonds. I'm not going to be using the diamonds today. Or the clear nail polish. I'm going to be using the, the, the nail polish. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your book and you're going to put your acrylic paint with the paintbrush on it or your nail polish. Okay. So after you paint it, you're just going to let it dry. You might have to put several coats. Like you can see right through mine. You might have to put several coats on it. Okay, so now you're just going to get a composition notebook or like any type of notebook or some clear paper. Okay, so now you're just going to open the book up and you're going to get, you, you're going to open the paper up and you're going to get your little book and you're going to put it at the bottom of the pages. I needed to go get a pen. So, now, what you're gonna do is you're going to measure out where it's going to be. You're just going to draw a line on where you want it. Okay, so now that I have that, okay, this is all up to you. It depends how many pages you want in your book. I'm only doing about 12. Okay, so now you're just going to cut all the papers out. It's going to be a little hard because paper gets really thick after a while. Is that what I think? Is that what Okay. So now that you have your paper, you are just going to put your book to the side because you won't need it anymore. Now that you have all your papers, you're going to get your book and your papers and some Elmer's glue or some hot glue or whatever kind of glue you have. So, what you're going to do is you're going to get your glue, oh, I mean your papers, and you're going to make sure they're all in order, all ready. Oh, that's what happens when your phone drops. Well, my phone drops. So, now you're just going to get the papers and organize them, do whatever. 
guess it's taking me a while. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to get the book and you're going to put the pages inside the book. So if your pages are a little bit big, that's okay. They're going to be a little bit big to fit inside the book. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to just stack all the papers up and you're just going to put glue all by the page all on the pages. On, on the tips on the sides, if that makes any sense. So now you're gonna get your book and you're gonna put the pages inside. Just like that. And you're going to make sure they fit. Push them right in very tight and you're going to make sure they fit really snug. Mine were sticking out just a little bit. So if yours are like this, just cut off any extra. So now you're just going to let it dry. If any of the pages start falling out, Get them, put a little bit 